What we have here is called a quadrilateral hierarchy. And what this helps us to see is what types of quadrilaterals are actually fitting into the same category as other types of quadrilaterals. Now, as you can see at the very top here, we just have quadrilateral. That just means a shape with four sides. And then what we have, we split into three different sections. We split into parallelograms, we split into trapezoids over here, and two kites over to the left. Now, as you could see, trapezoids and kites, they are only a type of quadrilateral. Other than that, they're different from everything else. Their only line connecting them is back to quadrilateral. However, parallelograms then split into a bunch of different quadrilaterals. So an example of a parallelogram is a rectangle. An example of a parallelogram is a rhombus. And then, believe it or not, a square is also an example of a parallelogram as well, because squares are both rhombuses and rectangles. So why is a square a rectangle? Well, it has four sides, and it has four right angles, and its opposite sides are equal. That makes it a rectangle. Why is a square a rhombus? Well, a square has four sides. Its opposite sides are, or I'm sorry, it has four equal sides, and that's all that needs to make um, a rhombus is four equal sides. Now, a rhombus is a parallelogram because its opposite sides are parallel. As we could see, this side and this side are parallel, as are the other sides. Same with the rectangle. Opposite sides are parallel, making it a parallelogram. Now, this is a handy chart to look at when you're trying to find out whether a square is a rectangle or a rectangle is a parallelogram. If you could connect it with lines, then it is. So, for example, let's just think of a sample question here. Maybe the question is, um, is a square always a parallelogram? I could see here that parallelograms, right here, and I could connect a parallelogram to rectangle to square, which means, yes, since this square is beneath the parallelogram and it can be connected, it is always going to be a parallelogram. It's a very helpful chart to use.